Hey guys, the Potrat here, and this are the ghost peppers from my mom's garden, which has nothing to do with today's video because this is not that kind of video. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw this portrait, and it is not that difficult. All right, so the tools that I use is just generally the same thing that I always use, which is, uh, you know, like a, a very soft charcoal, such as willow or vine charcoal, uh, my charcoal pencil, a compressed charcoal pencil. Uh, kneaded eraser um, and a hard rubber eraser and maybe a compressed charcoal block if, if you want um, generally I like no matter what kind of type of charcoal it is I like it to be soft so that it's more malleable okay as you can see right now I'm really just using a dirty piece of uh, uh, the blending stump and I'm just creating a kind of a form almost like um sculpting right I'm trying to creating like a, a very light shadowy form but I'm um, trying to I'm trying to <laughs> what is that I'm trying to awaken my right brain so that I'm seeing this 3d sh form come out before I, I add any details otherwise I find that lately it's just to be such a an easy and enjoyable way to draw rather than you know do the outlines and all that okay so I did the eye socket I did the, the nose and the outline of the face roughly where things are and I'm gonna adjust the charcoal along as I am going through my evaluation which is nice because I can just do it intuitively like does the chain needs to be a little bit larger smaller does um, I mean you know, longer, uh, higher, lower. Does the nose need to be longer or higher or lower? Uh, where the lips should be? I can just kind of feel it out because at, at this point, everything on the paper is done by vine or willow charcoal that is very easily erasable. And once I decide things are pretty okay, I, I decide to put down an eyebrow. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I just decided to put down the eyebrow and that uh, right eyebrow from our point of view that is done with uh, compressed charcoal so that is much harder to that is more permanent right more committed basically okay um, so I see, I see at this point I, I kind of almost want to pause the video but I don't think I need to because we are only three minutes in and uh, you can already see that I drew the eyes and the, the shape of the nose and that 3D shape just comes out and also with a little bit of shadow down here you can see the face uh, the cheek uh, and uh, you know just all the form basically is established and at this point you are no longer looking almost like um, a drawing anymore you're looking at a piece of clay and uh, you try to just mold it you try to change it you try to add certain emphasis on certain parts and at this point I can just tell I can almost tell like almost where the eye is it looks like she's kind of sad and she's looking that way but uh, I know I can adjust where the eye looks at very easily as long as the eye themselves are roughly in the right location so, so with that pretty confident um, regarding the features when that I'm pretty confident in I start to put down some more dark tones with compressed charcoal which is a lot more difficult to get rid of and the year generally in case you don't know um, the year usually goes between uh, what is it the, the what is it the eyebrows if you look at somebody straight on will be it the eyebrows and uh, they are the bottom of the nose. I know I've got that, but since we are looking at her slightly from a from a um, uh, top down angle, the years will be a little bit higher. Because rarely will you look at somebody perfectly straight on. And as long as see so far right now, there's no details. There's no details. We see kind of a three D shape, but your intuition kicks in and. You can tell if something's really off. So far, I think since looks pretty good, and there's nothing that is off to the point that I could not um, correct. 
and yeah, and I and this whole time I'm I'm constantly evaluating. Um, sometimes sometimes I I would stop for a little bit. Sometimes I would look away and I'll look back, just to make sure I get that fresh perspective. The hair, uh, that was a compressed charcoal block. You want to add depth to certain parts, such as um, certain parts that you want to recede, such as right here, right, right. Generally, right below the ear is where it should be really dark, uh, and uh, right below the chin, it, it goes to the neck, and then it recedes further into the hair. That should be fairly dark, and so on. It depends on the lighting of the image, and so on. So as you draw more and more, you start to see almost like her eyes. Even though technically I just drew a little bit of a circle around where the eyes are, but we started seeing almost like um, a face looking at us already. But it's blurry, it's light, it's sculpted, there's no details. It's like a marble sculpture without any uh, paint or details. Right now, because I have not committed on any of the main features yet, except that eyebrow for some reason, um, I can still adjust if something looks off. As more confident I am, I am become of the entire drawing, uh, I'm just gonna... I Apparently for this one, I took it you know, from an outside-in approach. Sometimes I took, in, I took from like an inside-out approach. I would draw the eyes, nose first. Sometimes for this one, I just took an outside-in approach. If you think about it, I really didn't take any the, 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 the outside in, inside out doesn't really matter once you already have the underlining light form defined and it's correct. Because right now I'm just adding the, the dark tones and highlights and details. And it doesn't matter how you do it. It doesn't matter what direction you go first because you already have the form underlining. So you're not going to really make any proportional mistakes or, or should I say you are li li less likely to make any uh, large proportional mistakes. And rest of it is just uh, details, like the 300 plus drawings, art videos that I have in my channel. Mm, this is this is the part where I use a lot more of my pencil uh, for for finer adjust, adjustment um, and uh, blending stump if as needed. I try not to use it too much. Because just like, as I always say, right, you want contrast not just in terms of value, but also in terms of style, rough, very rough versus very refined and photorealistic, as well as contrasting texture, right? You can have something somewhere that's like very, very smooth and somewhere that's very rough. The more different contrast you present in your drawing while having the main, ele main element be uh, very clear and have the value be correct, the more interesting generally your drawing is going to be because your viewer gets to participate more. A drawing has that extra thing where you can choose to add a t uh, some extra, extra human touch of style and texture to it and you should take advantage of that. As we enter into the age of uh, AI, I believe just like email versus um, a handwritten mail, which these days would be appreciated by most people a lot more. In, I think people is gonna crave some art that is created by you know a human hands. I like the way that I actually filmed the process because for a lot of artists that is lost, and I think the process itself can be just as beautiful as the final outcome of the drawing, and. Okay, I did not talk too much about specific parts like the structure of the nose and everything because I have talked about them so many times. Um, I can focus on one feature or other next time if you want to, but there's so many videos in my channel that I've talked about specifically uh, eyes, highlighting the eyes, how to draw a nose, how to draw hair, lips, and really, it's not really about uh, Especially with observational drawings like this and not constructive drawing like if you're, if you're doing animation or cartoon or conceptual art 
it's really just about correctly evaluating what you see and put down the, the right tone value and the right uh, proportions. And so I think the process then is it becomes it should become a more important part of this kind of art, which is why I have always done art videos. And you see, as I just there's, there's a plenty part in the video. If you want to, you can watch it again, where I just adjust the little things. I make the lips and things a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. I would make a certain parts a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. But the adjustments are always quite small because likely early on when I was doing the sculpture with uh, the dirty stump, I was likely to get most parts fairly correct. And anything that looks not correct as you're adding details, you can immediately tell. You don't, you don't even need to be a practitioner of the art with years of experience. You can just be a regular person, you can just tell, wait, this, this nose looks a little bit too long. It looks kind of weird here. So you can just fix it straight away. I can make a video, right? I can show you how to draw, let's say, one of the eyes. And then it's really the same thing. You just, you just repeat that process for all the other features. It's the overall construction of that 3D form first. That's the hard part. That's the important part. Every other detail part, you just, you just learn how to do one detail part and you can just repeat it for the whole thing. Uh, and like I said before, consider, put a little bit more, especially today, given how fast things are changing, consider put more of your human touch in there. And as you create your art, consider do it in a way where as AI are getting so good so fast, consider getting into a way that it's almost impossible for, for uh, you know AI to duplicate exactly your style in which case in my case it's the video and also the style itself it's I have a little bit of a style but my videos it's gonna be a while for the AI to duplicate that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make two to three videos every week now for this channel and also I have my other channel the portrait casual where I'm gonna be doing a lot of random videos like absurd reactions and my take on crazy uh, happenings to ranting about how ridiculous our you know financial policies are and so on as an example so basically i'm going to be a lot more active so make sure you subscribe turn on that bell and i'll see you guys next time cheers